happy Saturday all. So I just got done a nice little lift here at Gold's Gym. And then I had my chauffeur pick me up. Hello, chauffeur. Hey. How are you? I'm fabulous. You're fabulous? How was your little soul cycle? It's so good, it's so sad. Why are you so sad? Because I don't want to stop going, it makes me sad. Don't, you don't have to stop going, bro. To that class, that oh. instructor. Oh, what's his name? His name is Todd. <sighs> What up, fam? Oh, what up? Cool. Everybody's on the vlog. Everybody's on the vlog. Whoa. So we are at the sunny spot. And it's not even sunny. It's a cloudy day at the sunny spot. What are we doing? And we are getting breakfast here, everyone. Getting breakfast before Lindsay and I get out of here. And it's one of the spots that we wanted to go in. Right? Yes. It's on the bucket list. It was. On the bucket list to LA. And we're going to indulge and enjoy. All right, so Lindsay and I just got back from brunch and it was amazing. I'm gonna be honest, guys, getting ready to leave LA makes me feel a little sad. You know, I think about the friendships that we're leaving. I think about the friendships that we're really starting to lean into and the things that we're learning about ourselves right now and one thing I've been really intentional about is building friendships and building connection and making that a focal point in my life. And it's really cool to start experiencing that. And it's also really sad to think of losing that in a way and having to start again in Dallas. But it's just kind of, it's just kind of an experience and part of it. But I'm really grateful you guys have met Mitch and Erica and Hannah. And they're just incredible people. And I'm excited to see a few more people today. Right now I'm gonna go work. I have a couple things I need to knock out because I wanna have some different projects ready, set to go while we're traveling. And I'm really excited about this one project I've been working on that I haven't shared with you all. And so I'm gonna go journal about it and hash out some of the small details. That way I can get everything set to be launched and, and be released. That way it's finalized for my course. And yeah, just trying to get a little bit of work done today as I can. Back home now, and the cool thing about moving is when you get used to it, it's a lot easier to pack. So this is a, most of our stuff. Lindsay thinks that we need to take more time packing. I say no, it's big chocolate sprinkle, but they shut store down. So we clean up make big cookie for to bring customers back. Well, I admire your candor. Now let's try that again, shall we? What movie is that? What movie is that? Is it Borat? It's not. It's Bruce Almighty. <laughs> but one of the things I just wrapped up in, this is really exciting, something I'm really proud of, something I'm really excited about, is just officially wrapped up filming Proclaim Your Power. So Proclaim Your Power is a course that I've been working on that essentially works on the mindset of getting results when it comes to fitness. Because if you don't have the mindset, if you don't have the belief, if you don't have the internal dialogue to push yourself forward, no matter what the strategy is, it's gonna be really hard for you to break through that ceiling and create the lifestyle that you want. And so for those of you who have followed me, one of the things I talk about is my system of hope. So when you have health, when you have health, you can focus on that internal dialogue that shifts into optimism. When you're able to live in optimism and see that life can always improve, you can make tangible progress. And when you make tangible progress and you have those three other pillars in line, you can truly focus on what makes you excellent and proclaim your power. And so in Proclaim Your Power, there's eight modules, there are eight lessons about things that I have used to help change my mindset when it comes to fitness and training, and also different ways that I've helped coach my clients over the last few years. And this is something I'm super excited to officially launch. It is an eight lesson course, and it's something that I'm gonna give a wellness program with. I'm gonna give you all the help and support that I possibly can. We're gonna have weekly office hours. So if you're in a position where you want to transform your body and get the body you love, and also build the confidence and the habits to sustain 
maintain it, I want you to click the link that I've put in the comment section here and I want you to join me over the next eight weeks and start to build a lifestyle that's not only fulfilling to you but something that excites you along the way too. So just officially wrap this up, really excited, really pumped about this and something that I truly believe in and I'm just really excited to share it. So right now, Linda and I are gonna continue to pack I'm pack, 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 and then we are going to go enjoy the rest of our day. As we are winding down our time here in LA, and it's a little windy, it's a little cold. We're gonna, we're gonna go for a quick walk and make the most of it. We probably got one more day here, one more day at the beach. We'll probably come here. I've been running the beach recently and absolutely love it. So I'll probably add it in Monday or tomorrow, at least one more solid beach run here. So it is when the I end of the night, 1 a.m., and we just had a wonderful evening out with some of our lovely friends. The best. And they surprised Lindsay. I knew about the surprise with this lovely party. Nice and so nice. how how do you feel right now? Loved. Loved? Loved and sleepy. I feel loved. It's amazing. And I want some eggs. <sighs> it's so tough. It's so tough. So tough. Why is it tough? Because I don't know. I just it, it it's really great to have such a great community around us. It's great to have so many l amazing people. Like Erica, mm -hmm. she says something really amazing to me, and what'd she say? Steph says something really amazing to What'd me they say? They said amazing things. Now I need to know. The vlog doesn't oh, need to know okay. all we'll my secrets. We'll talk about it later. Guys. But it's just really um, it's weird. We're moving to Dallas. I know. It's really it's strange. Crazy. But you know what's amazing though? We get to go to bed. That's, that is amazing. Yep. But it's amazing I get to go with my best friend. Yeah. And you're so pretty. And I love you. I love you too. And no matter what, it's gonna be okay because we got, we got each other. Yeah. That's gonna be okay. Can I get with it? I love you. Me too. Sunday. And we are getting ready to train legs like you do. Right? That's what you do after you go out and have a great time. You train legs. Uh, we're getting trained by Brad Rowe, who is Steph Rowe's husband, and he is also a professional bodybuilder. He is an absolute beast, and he's like, hey, wanna train you guys before you get out of here, so it's gonna be epic. And one thing too, Brad's from New Hampshire, so it's kind of like a mutual send-off of some Granite State civilians. And we're gonna have a blast. Yes, we are. So, one to ten. How many start feeling it? Right? <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna get you to a five and then pain tolerance twice. Okay. Alright, we ten squats. It's a little the distracted more, too. The more weight you add to it, actually the, the less the, the signal feels. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Uh, I love the hand. <laughs> you might be wondering why I have all these cords on me. And a part of me feels like I'm in the matrix right now, but this essentially is gonna be hooked up to this machine and it's gonna send an electric current to our muscles and it's essentially gonna help us train. And so Brad's gonna explain in a second, but new thing, new journey. We'll see what this is. 
it's all about. Five is kind of a point of, it's tall, you feel it. And you're like, all right, it's on, it's tall. And, and caveat with this is you can't get hurt. So what, what this is, right here, sending a DC current, which mimics a normal brain signal to the nervous system. The signal we're sending is 500 volts per second. That's trying to cause 500 contractions per second. The muscles can't handle it. So what they do is they give up in peace. And that causes a lengthening and restriction effect. Increase blood flow and nutrients. So this is what we start when we warm up. And then when we go to control train, we turn the frequency down to between 40 and 100 pulses per second. That the muscles can keep up with. So that is a listening muscle to the muscle fiber as we train. So that's, that's the difference between those signals. So I'm going to turn you up now, and that's why I said you can't get hurt, it's because it's a lengthening signal. So even though you have this contraction between the different receptors within our muscle and tendons, they're receiving this signal, they're unsure why they're receiving the signal, so they'll kind of contract, so you'll feel some contraction, that's perfectly normal. Even if your leg was to lock up, you could overcome that by moving through it. AC skin machines, you can't do that. Once the muscle is locked up, it will not let go. If you try to force it to let go, you will injure yourself. That's the difference between this technology and the AC. So that was oh, amazing. Take. What was your take, Bob? What was your take? I love that. That was so fun. If I could train for a half hour a day and get that good of a workout, I would be sold forever. Sold forever. Fun. Yeah, like walking right now, I, I, my, I my quads are on fire. I could feel them like heavily contracted. And yeah, that was a really cool experience. And I'm really impressed with our ability to have a good workout. Say without getting sick. Oh. And without feeling run down from the amount of uh, I felt you know, like if we had done it, fun we had last night. Would have died. Transformation of our apartment has begun. Bob, are you excited? So excited! And everything's clean through here. Got a few more packages, boxes, and then we are blessed to have this dude helping us out. Shout out to Mitch. You owe me, bro. Boom, Zeus. <laughs> I do. I do. I owe you. I'm gonna have to repay you in protein bars and good choice gym membership dues that's good currency uh, for me good currency it's the best <laughs> currency right <laughs> so mitch is one of our friends in la he's been a blessing he's helping us today really appreciate it dude dude absolutely absolutely the least i can do this guy's done so much for me oh, thank you. so thank you. thank you um so pack it up getting moved on and into the truck making some headway we got all the big things in place and now, and look at this. So we are officially packed up, ready to go. Look at all the things in there. If you see this and I haven't posted it yet, if I haven't posted this vlog yet and you're watching it in real time, you could literally come and steal all our stuff out of the U-Haul. So we have a nice guitar in there. We have all our essentials, all the things that you want at, the, at your fingertips, right there. But no, it's taken us a little bit of time, and now it's time for me and best friend to get out of here. Thanks, Mitch. Oh, he just says thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what you're. I don't, what you're do, welcome. What do people say? Thank what do you mean? You, I, I said thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's moved out. Bugs are here by themselves. And we're just so excited. Ready to move? Are you excited? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> ready? Grateful. It's very cool to see how far we've come in 
two years, and this is where we live the whole time. Just yep. really, really cool. Really, really special. Yes. Thanks for being my best friend this week. It is almost 4 a.m. right now, and we have successfully made it to our first Airbnb here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Bob, made it. With, with a lot of driving with the windows down. And jams. What you say? Yes. And so on that note, I'm gonna leave the vlog here. And then tomorrow we'll pick up. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of our journey. And thank you for all that you're bringing into our lives. And just remember to continue to be a light. Inspire others to believe in you. I'll see y'all.